Hi and welcome to C Sharp Y Loop Alphabet Tutorial for Beginners. Okay, so let me show you how this works. If I double click on the form, we clear the screen there. And if we click on this button there, there we go. So I'm going to show you guys how I put together this beautiful tutorial. So I'm going to exit out and let's start a new project. Click on next and give that a name CS alphabet for beginners click on create alright the development environment is ready I'm going to increase the font size to 1000 plus by 500 and let's add three components button and a rich text box and a label now we need a rich text box and a label let's grab hold of a label yeah that's it a label okay so we place the button somewhere here and just drag it that much the rich text box just bring it down here and the label let's come right here and change the back color of that very label to cadet blue and I'm also going to do the same thing for the button then also let's change the auto size to fix and just drag it that much and the button let's do the same thing for the button change the back color to get it blue there we go and just drag it up there something like that and bring this all the way brilliant and now let's change the font size of both components to something much more readable. I'm going to make that about 40 something, maybe 44. There we go. And the same thing for this list box. Let's change that to about 40. Let's see, maybe 38, something like that. There. And let's change the font on it. For the label, I'm going to change that to as follows. Y loop alphabet tutorial for beginners. Why for the button? Let's change that to A to Z generator. There we go. Okay, let's double click on this button now. And the first thing we need to do oh, we need to give the button a name so let's come in here I'm going to change the name to BTN alphabet and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the list box the list box will now be known as RT no the rich text box RT alphabet there now for the button i'm going to select the button go to the event and get rid of this very first one that i double click on now double click on the button there we go and first of all i'm just going to declare a variable i'm going to call that a a no let's call it ch for char equals let's enter apostrophe a that is my that is what I initialize the variable ch with then I'm gonna come right down here and say y ch less than and equals to that's good z then come right down here let's enter statement bracket we just a statement block and we just say lst alphabet let's see that should be there that's the name let's oh no it's not lst it's r come on 
go back in there. I was supposed to be RT alphabet dot append dot append text and it has to be converted because the rich text box only accepts string characters so let's convert that and I'm also going to I'm going to accept that for now then here I'm going to enter a tab tab and tab double tab let's say plus another double tab at the end here so let's say plus and tab so that is tab tab and right underneath here we now say ch plus plus increment let's put that down here okay the ch variable is incremented so i'm going to now run the program and just let's see how that's going to look like click on run there and there we go so click on the button there we go guys so now let's put one line of code together for the form itself so that we can clear the content once we double click on the form double click on that form and we oh we actually need let's come in here we need so let's select the form and go to the properties select event and i'm going to look for double click there we go event double click double click on that and in there i'm just going to say rt alphabet dot clear that's it so once you double click on the form that will be cleared and this is the lines of code for the while loop okay so let's save that and run it again let's see how that works right there guys so click on that button there we go double click on the form there click on the button again and that is how you generate your own alphabet using a while loop so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel bye for now